I'm here with Mike Thielander, and we're talking about LTE and SON. Mike, thanks for joining us. Sure. So what do you think operators should be focusing on in the next three to five years when it comes to deployment? Yeah, so I think there's actually two things operators really need to think about. And first of all, LTE is not a panacea. And so when operators deploy their networks, they really need to think about the long term. And that LTE is definitely a next generation technology, but it's not the panacea. That means you just deploy the network and it works fine. Mm -hmm. I think the second aspect is really future proofing your network. So thinking about what your network is going to look like three to five years from now. So in terms of planning for sufficient backhaul, thinking about new technologies, adding in LTE, TDD, or FDD if you're starting off with TDD, going to small cells, adding new frequency bands. You know, so, you, so when you're deploying a new, a new network, new technology, thinking about really the long term and not the short term. Sounds like two great ideas. How important do you think SON is for operators now? Well, I think SON is really important. There's it, it, really three aspects to that. First of all, during the initial deployment. You know, as operators are deploying their cells, especially deploying small cells, what SON gives you is a sense of automation that you don't have today. And that really is important when it comes to deploying a large number of cells, especially with small cells. Mm -hmm. I think the second aspect is that as operators are just monitoring their network, identifying problems in the network, SON really gives you that self-automation, that self-optimization, identifying problems without a lot of uh, hands-on intervention. I think the third thing is really more longer term as networks start to become more loaded. You know, operators really need to think about optimization, you know, and looking at things like load balancing, uh, mobility robustness. So as you're managing handovers between cell sites, that's something you can do without SON. And that's the interesting thing about SON is that SON doesn't necessarily give you any new features with, L with LTE. What it does is automate existing features. And as networks become more loaded, Dealing, dealing with lots of traffic, it's really important to optimize that to make sure it's a real-time response to a problem. Excellent. Uh, what do you think the SON industry can do in helping operators operate and manage their multi-vendor networks? Sure. If you look at SON today, uh, it's really OSS-based. So it's coming from a, it's a centralized approach. Um, it's very proprietary. Each vendor has their own implementation their own APIs, and it's very slow. So if you talk to operators, what they want is a multi-vendor environment, and they want very fast reporting. So what that means to me is, first of all, a hybrid approach. So it's a combination of centralized SON as well as decentralized SON. They want open APIs. They want to write the code. They want to define the SON algorithms themselves. So really what it means for vendors is offering the operators an open API structure, a framework, that allows those operators to go out and develop their own SON algorithms. Outstanding. Mike, thank you so much sure. for joining us today.